Uh, we just kept a Gordon Greer. First of all, your, your your thoughts on the match, Gordon? We just weren't good enough. Um, you know, I thought we started the game brightly at the start, and then we just uh, never played well enough. And uh, you know, I was really disappointed after that because uh, we just, as I said, we just never really played well today. The manager said he's never had to question the team's endeavour over the last weeks. He kind of seemed to be inferring that he was today. Yeah, I think, um, as, I, as I just said, you know, the performance wasn't good enough. You know, we're at the bottom of the league and we're fighting for our lives as are Wigan. And you know, uh, we wanted to come up here and put on a, a good team display, and we never done it. So, you know, we're all uh, really disappointed. What's that down to, Gordon? Because the players must have realised this was a massive match for the Albion. No, we, we're fully aware um, how big a game it was. Um, and uh, when it went one each, you know, we had a few chances and we just never took them. And then we get punished at the other, side, other end. So, you know, we, uh, we need to take full responsibility because we just weren't good enough today. And, you know, it was a massive game and it was a big test, a um, big test of character um, for all of us. And we, we never passed it. The strong words. Some players in the side didn't. Is that the whole team or some? No, of the I think team? You, you think you just need to look at the performance. I don't think it was good enough. Um, you know, we had a, a lot of people that travelled up to watch us and support us, and um, you know they're well within the right to you know booze off at the end. You know, and they never. But um, you know, we, as I said, um, over recent weeks we've put on some decent displays, but we never done that today. And you know, we're, as I said, we're really disappointed. The manager said he was particularly disappointed at the first half performance goal. Yeah. I wonder what he said at the interval. No, but as I said, you know, there was too many opportunities where we, we gave the ball away cheap, and we didn't retain possession, and um, we let them play, and um, credit to them because they, they they played, and um, you know they got the goal, and then I thought we started the second half a lot better. We got the goal, and we looked for the next 15, 20 minutes if we were going to win it, and uh, to lose it, um, we're, we're disappointed. Is there some soul searching that some of the Albion players need to do, Gordon? I think, you know, over recent years we've had it quite good. Um, and we've played some great football and, you know, we've, you know, we've been up near the top of the league. And, and this year we've been down near the bottom pretty much most of the season. So it's been a really difficult season for everybody connected with the club. But, you know, these are the sort of games that, um, as a player, you sort of look forward to. You know, if we, we came up here and we win it, um, you know, we go away and we've secured our championship uh, safety and we sort of we move on and we sort of regroup for next season and instead we've came up and we've just not played well at all and you know it's, as it's um, it's really uh, one of those days that sort of um, all season it's been up and down but you know this is one of those days where it's just uh, it's a real bad day for us. You fronted up Gordon you're the skipper of the club do you feel sort of more responsibility than most? Of course, I mean, I've, I've been down here for, this is my fifth season and I, I've seen the good, but, you know, as a player you take the good with the bad and, you know, it's uh, it's easy for people to criticise when, when they're not on the pitch, um, but it's uh, it's sometimes difficult to look at your fellow players and, and, you know, be honest with each other and, you know, after the game, you know, we had to do that because it's, as I said, we're, we're coming away from home and we're just not playing well enough. Was there some finger pointing in the dressing room afterwards? No, I wouldn't say finger pointing, but we're, you know, we're, we're, as I said, we came up here. It could have been a great day for everybody connected with the club. As far as you know, we come up, we get a good result. Everybody's happy. We're safe, and instead, it's uh, you know, it's been a bad result. But you know, we've got a massive game next week, so we can't dwell on it too much because we've got a, a big game next Saturday. For all that, Gordon, there's still not a lot of pressure coming from below. I mean, Millwall have drawn today. Do you draw some some comfort from that? I know. I mean, that's. Uh, it's one of the things that you know I, I actually personally don't like uh, looking at other people's results. You know we wanted we wanted to come up here and, and do it on our own. Um, unfortunately, it never happened, and you know it's, it's a it's a bonus for us that Millwall never picked up the three points. Um, what do you say to those Albion supporters who came up today, Gordon? I said to the manager there was one or two who threw their shirts on the pitch, threw scarves yeah. on the pitch. They they were not happy at the final whistle. No, I mean it's totally understandable. You know, as, as football supporters that follow you, it's not a close journey either. And you know, we really appreciate their support. And it's it's a bad day for for uh, for us and it's for them. Um, and the performance wasn't good enough, so it's up to us to make sure we put it right next Saturday.